dreaded exams. It was a cloudy day at university. You're sitting in your class when all of a sudden your group coordinator rushes in, his hair soaking wet like he just took a shower, and screams at the top of his voice, We're doomed! At this point, the entire class is staring at him like, Are you okay, mate? He sits down and he pulls out a piece of paper and puts it on the table and it reads First Exam Timetable You're shocked, your heart stops pumping so fast that you can feel the beating in the outside world That night, when you go to bed, you can't fall asleep You just keep thinking about the exam and you're thinking The exam is coming and I'm not ready for it you go on YouTube to get some more information on how to revise for the exam and this video appears in your recommended. Welcome to part 4 of Moving to Bulgaria. Welcome back everybody to a brand new video on the Dentist Saad channel. I am Future Dentist Saad and today we're going to be doing revision tips for future students in Bulgaria. So let's get into the first person. So how many times have you heard people say I've spent so many hours on revision, I've tried so many different methods but the information just doesn't stick into my brain. Well today me and some other uni students um, have come together to give you a few tips uh, for revising for your exams, but make sure that you remember that everybody revises in their own way So try and find whatever method is best for yourself um, And these are just some general tips uh, to help you with your revision. So first person Okay, so my, num my number one tip would be to study before you go into the lessons Just because then it makes it easier for you to follow what's actually going on and then when you go home it makes your work like just so much easier because you've picked up most of what it has already been taught. And another tip would be to um, just really focus on the lectures. Like for me, at the start in first year, I used to try and like break my head trying to study like different types of books and stuff, and it was just really unnecessary. So I'd say stick to lectures because that's condensed and it's exactly what the lecturers want you to know for the exam. So study before lessons and focus on your lectures. This comes um, to one of the really important points that you might find on many websites online which says that you're supposed to start revising early and what better way to start revising early than to revise the topic before you actually go into lesson. So when you do go into lesson you have some idea of what's going on it'll also help you stay interested um, during long lectures or long lessons that you might have that could um, you know just lead you to go to sleep. Number two and do you have any revision tips for future students? Yeah, I've got quite a few. So, firstly, attend all your lectures. Secondly, after every lecture, make sure you do write your notes up and have it filed away. So when it just comes down to crap time and to revise for final exams, everything will be there for you and you won't fall behind. Also, the information you've written down, you'll keep it in your long-term memory, so when it just comes to revision, it'll be easy to recall. And when you're making notes, yeah, this is a good one, Write in colour and use a mixture of uh, post-it notes or whatnot just to make it more interesting to look at and more easy to remember. But yeah, other than that, enjoy uni and keep it up. So he had some really good points in there such as um, attending your lectures and making um, your notes using different colours. So when you make your notes, um, imagine you write um, the stuff that you already know or sort of understand, for example, like from A-levels. Um, in black pen and then new stuff you can write red pen or um, stuff that the teacher tells you is really important for the exam you can highlight um, so when you go over your notes for the second or third time um, you can just go over the main points like that and it'll just stick in your brain um, way better as Hassan says also you should really be making notes during um, the lecture or lesson that you have and then afterwards um, you can condense no those notes to make um, like a final perfect note which you can use to revise just before the exam which will be really helpful and I think that's what Hassan is really um, trying to get across. So let's move on to the next person. My tips for people studying at university would be to use varied methods of revision so um, things like spider diagrams, um, group revision, revision sessions and um, revision in the library with your friends, I think that kind of helps and uh, it'll help you learn more and focus better for your exams. 
so Ramona had a really good point um, over there which is um, to make sure that you studied using different methods of um, revision and study with your friends because when you're with your friends and you're all studying the exact same thing if you see one person studying the other person is more motivated and you can test each other together and um, it's it just creates you know um, a good environment for yourself and for your friends and you can all succeed together basically i think the best revision tip i can give you guys is um, making friends with up years because their notes will be the most useful they've done the exam they've had like help from other people they know like where other people have failed passed and i think the main thing is just getting their advice on how to pass your own exams so as Alicia said, you need to make sure that you know at least a few people um, in the years above you. Um, this is mainly because they've probably gone through the exact same stuff that you are going through right now. So they could really help you out a lot um, when it comes to things like your exams or maybe if you need some extra notes, or extra guidance, um, what to do around the university um, and things like that. So make sure that you have at least one friend um, in upper years as well. Yeah, so specifically for Plav de Vigny, there's a a chance to get exemptions in different tests you do throughout the year for specific subjects. So specifically for anatomy, um, you have three colloquiums and three small tests throughout the year. And if you average um, 80 or 90% in um, all of those three tests in each semester, there's a chance for you to be exempt from certain parts um, at the end in the final exam. So for example, you could end up having only, let's say, half the work <clears throat> for the final exam. Jamal is right. I'm not sure how it works with other universities, but um, in Plovdiv Medical University, um, you have chances to get exemptions um, within some of the exams. Um, and I would highly recommend that you do go for them. Um, as Jamal says, it will help you out, especially in the final exams. Since certain parts of the final exam, you won't have to sit, so it's less stressful. So remember, work hard in the beginning so you can relax at the end. Next person. Oh hey 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 um do you have any do you have any tips for um university students? Uh, yeah, I'd say take five minute breaks in between your studies every half an hour. I should be fine. Yeah, um, do you have like any useful tips? Because that was pretty but, useless. Yeah. I mean, people wanna yeah. like they actually wanna know something. Yo. Do you know like any like actual information? One sec, one sec, one sec. Yo, the f <laughs> <laughs> so obviously Thalha is just a bit of a joker. But when you think about it, the tip that he does give is actually a really important point. You do need to take um, breaks between your revision. Um, I'd say not every 30 minutes, but let's say um, 10 minutes after every hour. Just take a little break to allow your brain to relax and to allow all the information that you've learned to go into your long term memory and be stored forever. So he did have a really valid point even though it's Tala the Joker. Um, uh, but yeah, let's get into the next point. And now, finally, my revision tip uh, for students uh, who are going to university or to college or wherever you are going to study. I would say that you need to make sure that your surroundings when you're revising is as similar to the exam hall as possible. This means quietness is essential. Now you hear a lot of people say, um, I have to revise with music on, or I have to revise in complete silence. But which one would you think is more closer to the uh, examination situation? That's how I think of it. I'd say that you can um, maybe make notes while listening to music for long hours of time. But when it comes to actual revision, and getting information, into your brain um, it does become a bit more of a gray area where some people find it more useful some people don't um, i'd say experiment on it with um, on your own and find what is best for you um, to make sure that you get the best revision possible now i do want to um, give a little disclaimer um, none of us are experts of how to revise none of us in this video um, are geniuses um, but we just want to help some people out so if this video did help uh, help you out um, give it a thumbs up um, and let's get into um, the final outro. So that is the end of the video uh, for today for revision tips. Uh, so just want to say um, thank you for watching the, this video and thank you to all of my wonderful friends for helping out. I uh, hope this video did help you out. Uh, if it did, be sure to share it with uh, your friends or people that would need it. Uh, be sure to uh, like this video if you did enjoy it. Be sure to subscribe to this channel. Leave a comment down below any questions that you may have. Um, thank you for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video.
Video. Video.